last month I made a video about NVIDIA's new text to video tool, which basically enables you to create an entire video just using a text prompt with stock footage, a narrator voice, music, and captions. And I talk about the pros and cons about this type of video creation. But last week, NVIDIA just announced a new voice cloning tool so you can use your own voice as the narrator now, which was actually something that I requested in the last video. One thing I would like to see, especially since I produce my own content with my own image and voice, is to be able to have a voice clone. So from your NVIDIA dashboard, underneath plugins, you'll find voices. Here you can create a digital clone of your voice or another voice and click on add voice. For the instructions, you only need to upload a recording of 30 seconds, but I recommend speaking in the voice that you want to be the tone of that voiceover. For example, if you just want it to be normal, just talk the way you normally talk. But if you want the voiceover to be more energetic, then you need to be more energetic and excited in the video, like the Mr. Beast style. That's not really my vibe, so it's kind of awkward for me to do that. But if you want it to be even more calm, you need to be more like, this is your guide to an evening meditation. Or if you want to be a sarcastic gal, this video is totally going to make sense. The reason why is once the voice is cloned, you can't really change the style, which I will show you in a moment. At the beginning of your recording, you must say, I give NVIDIA AI permission to use my voice. And don't worry, nobody else can use your voice, only you inside of your account can use this voice. You also need to pause between sentences, but not too much, just enough so there's a natural break so you should do it as naturally as possible. But I recommend at least one break of like two seconds between two sentences, just so AI can define those natural breaks in the sentences. You also need to use a high quality microphone. The microphone that I use in all my videos right now is the Rode NT-USB mini microphone. This thing is great. It's only 99 bucks. It plugs in directly into my computer with USB-C and I record directly to my computer. It's, it's awesome. So to talk about something for 30 seconds, I was like, I can just talk about something for 30 seconds, but I actually just went to ChatGPT and I asked it to write a 30 second script about video editing. So now let's record. In a world where every frame counts, crafting stories, shaping emotions, and bringing imagination to life, with precision and creativity, the magic of video editing unfolds. So once it's recorded, you can drag your audio file right here, and then you just need to check to confirm all of these points, and then click my sample looks good. So the voice clone is done. It only took about 30 seconds to create the voice, which I think is pretty fast. All right, next you can click on use. And the first thing it says is settings one, use my voice one gal's voice. Now we wanna keep this in because this is telling the AI to use my voice. So after this, we can type in a prompt about what type of video we want it to generate using my voice. So I'll just keep it simple for this and I'll say generate a 30 second short about how to edit video. Now it's going to take a couple minutes to process. So as this generates, I just wanna note that I would probably have my editors Jiva and Rickard use in video to generate a voice sample to cut into an existing edit. For example, if I'm not in the studio ready to record, they can just generate that new voice sample and cut it into the video. I think it would be a great way to just generate something fast. Of course, we wouldn't use it for the whole video because it just doesn't make sense because I'm in the video, but for certain sequences that are stock heavy where I'm talking about a particular topic, this could be actually quite useful. This is where I think a panel for NVIDIA inside of Premiere Pro would be super useful. Imagine just typing in a script inside of the NVIDIA panel in Premiere Pro and it can spit out the voice generation and B-roll that you can just drag into the main edit. And it doesn't have to be just B-roll. I think it could just be voice in itself. And this is something that I suggested to NVIDIA because right now you can only generate the voice with a video, but I think it would be useful to just generate voice only. And then my editors could just drag in that voice only clone directly into the Premiere Pro timeline. But for now, you can always download the final video and separate the video from the audio and just delete the video if you don't want to use it. One minute later. Okay, let's watch back the generation. Imagine a video perfect in every way but one. It's too long. Enter video editing slice through excess trim to precision. Begin with raw footage, end with flawless sequences. Well, it definitely got the tone of my voice down, that's for sure. So they did a pretty good job at replicating the style of how I speak. There were a few instances that were a little bit off. For example, edit was pronounced eat it, which go forth, eat it, 
and let your story unfold. I don't know how that happened. The watermarks that are on the B-roll, you can remove that by upgrading to a plus plan, which I have. When you export, those will go away. But let me show you a couple commands that you can give to the AI to edit the video further. For example, you can see here, I tried make the voiceover more energetic and excited. And the response was, looks like we ended up on the same voice. More details would help. So this is what I was talking about before. It's better to record an energetic version of your voice clone so you can use that one for a particular type of tone that you're going for. So next, what I think we should do is edit the script itself because this part here where I say enter video editing, it's just kind of awkward. Enter video editing editing slice through. If we click on edit, we can actually customize the media here. You can replace the media here. So you can like select this clip and then you can go down and search for stock or you can upload your own media, which is nice. But in this case, I just want to edit the script. First of all, let's remove the quotations. We don't need it. I think we can add a short pause after video editing. And I just edited this second line to remove the awkwardness just to make it more like something I would say. So you can edit this. You can write in your own script here, which is great. Click apply changes. So it'll take a couple minutes to update the script. Imagine a video perfect in every way, but one, it's too long. Enter video editing. Begin with the raw footage and cut it down into flawless sequences. One more thing that you can do is change caption style to karaoke. Imagine a video perfect in every way, but one. It's too long. The only other thing that I would probably do here is go back to edit and I would just realign some of these clips and replace some of them because I can already see that this clip is the same as this clip. So I'm just going to search for video editing and replace this shot because it's a duplicate. That looks better up here. You can see the replacement now and apply changes. I do wish that the swapping of the clips was a little bit faster because doing it in a video editing program is really fast. And here it takes like a minute or so just to change one clip. From here, we can go to export video. We can remove no watermarks and make sure that NVIDIA branding is off since we have a plus account and continue. But this is just an example, right? This isn't something that I would actually use. I just wanted to demonstrate how to create a voice and create a video. But what I'm going to do now is actually start inside of ChatGPT with the video maker in video AI GPT so if you click on start chat here, from here you can give it a script to then generate a video based on your own custom script or you can have ChatGPT generate a script for you. So let's select, let's start by creating a script. So in this case, I'm going to have it write a 20 second introduction into why video podcasts are so popular. Keep the tone fun and cheeky. Settings one, use my voice, voice one, gal's voice. I just copy and paste that setting so it would use my voice. So let's send the message. So here's the script that they generated. I think it's fine. We can make some tweaks later on, but I think we should go ahead and respond and ask, would you like to proceed and create a video with the script? And I responded, yes, please. And then Video Maker is basically talking to the InVideo app. So now we can click on why video podcasts are so popular and it will start to generate. So as it analyzes, I wanna tell you about the new update to the Gal Toolkit extension for Premiere Pro. So my team and I use a lot of effects in our videos, but rather than having to go to a folder to find that effect and drag it into Premiere Pro, we developed a plugin that has all these effects in one place. Our toolkit now has over 1,565 different effects, titles, overlays, transitions, and motion presets as well. And they're really easy to apply. You can just double click or drag and drop it into the timeline. Everything is in one place, really easy to use. It's a lifetime purchase, not subscription, which is also a huge benefit. And there's also a try free button where you can try out 20 of the assets for free. So if you're interested, you can just check it out with the link down below. And now it's all done, let's watch. In a world where everyone's eyes are glued to screens, video podcasts have taken the throne. So first off, those two stock video clips in the title were just like a big no-no. It's like a PowerPoint. With the throne, it really captured my vocal fry. Because they combine the magic of storytelling with the thrill of binge watching. Imagine chilling with your favorite celebs in your living room or diving deep into mysteries 
all while in your pajamas. It's like having the world at your fingertips, minus the effort of reading or, you know, actual socializing. I like that kind of natural, or, you know, it did a pretty good job. Welcome to the era of video podcasts. So the voiceover was pretty good, but if I want to edit this, it's actually kind of difficult. I really wish that there was a built-in timeline editor here that could just make editing more easy to do. This is why I think an NVIDIA plugin for Premiere Pro would be so useful because my editors can generate a voice, some general B-roll and drag it into the timeline and more tweaks could happen because at the end of the day, that's where the magic happens. Cause just adding the B-roll, that's just a rough cut, right? We need to add more to it to give it life. In the current form here, it's just not gonna cut it for our team. But I know that this is just the beginning. So I really hope that they consider creating this extension for Premiere. I'm sure a lot of editors would find it useful. So I've talked about cloning before. I even generated my own digital visual clone avatar to show you where technology is at. But again, just like in that video about the cloning, the main purpose I see for voice cloning in this regard is to make editing faster. So I don't have to re-record. We need to re-record one little thing where I said something wrong just insert it in the timeline, or it can be a great starting point. So overall, I'm really impressed with the voice cloning tools that are available here in NVIDIA, considering I just had to upload a 30 second script and it was able to reproduce my voice in that fashion. I do wish that there was voice only generation. I also wish that there would be tone changes so that way my editors can just type in, make it a little bit louder, make it a little bit more energy to match the style that I had in the original video. I think that would be useful. And I know that they're listening and videos listening to this video. So I'm sure that they will take this all into consideration. And if there's anything that you're looking for that's similar to this, be sure to leave a comment down below. So anyway, that's my two cents about this new voice cloning tool inside of InVideo. You can check out my other video on the video cloning right over here. And you can click over here to join the Discord. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, keep creating better video with a gal. Bye. Mm -hmm.